white man or woman, as long as you live in the countries that matter, the ones whose wallets like their stomachs only get fatter, who get their rights served to them on a silver platter. If not, you better stab, shoot and bomb the ones who lead, till the knife wounds in dictatorship bleed, till all your children breathe is the dust of defeat or victory. But that's okay, because we're not racist, and in our country, different races don't need to fight. But if you're black, don't speak proper, because that's too white. And if you're white, don't speak gangster, because your skin's too light. And all Muslims are terrorists, right? Take the lead or take your life, empire or island, triumph or tragedy. Malcolm gambled with life and loss. Dice roll rounds, he got a flush, alongside with Elvis dying of an overdose. Martin Luther killed King dictionaries and the stereotypes printed in between the lines. So this year I took out the king, he was as a martyr to us and a false prophecy to them. Terrorist, burden, destroyer, benefactor, hero. Nelson stood up for what he believed in and Rosa Stay sat down. Your granddad looked up and saw stars. Mice saw dead, charred bodies hanging like mobiles. Mothers no longer singing lullabies and didn't even get to say goodbye. Their son of freedom set as their wrists turned into metal and they were given a new identity, slave. Reality hits hard like baseball bats wrapped round with barbed wire. Took it like gifts but never gave back. Don't fight fire with fire. Admit it, they started the fire. History written when panthers protecting cubs turned into barbaric, brutal, ballistic. But yet she did ghosts are remains of what is Christian. Flat, flat hands raising the air, we turn into raised fists, but paper beats rock. Woods children cannot fathom, but still echo during rap songs. Fire down through school corridors and muttered under harsh breaths. We hear all of this until not to react. Scorned for being the aggressive black man, the passionate Latina, and as always, pulling out the race guard. Expected to be dumb at volcanoes whilst hearing the words, I have a dream, and Trayvon Martin's hearing at the same time. Because we all look alike and they have a thousand faces. Because we dance and twist our wrists while simultaneously bending ourselves into a new society. Because we're ashamed of our parents' broken English and ugly accents. Because black children being murdered get drowned out in the news. Go to the beach, pick up a shell, you'll hear their voices. What are you following me for? I don't have a gun, stop shooting. Why did you shoot me? Please don't let me die. And yet, and yet the dead are still painted as thugs, told they deserved it because of their looks. Racism simplified in black and white, crushed paracetamol hidden in cocaine lines. Hands up, don't shoot, turn to the pants up, don't loot. As if wearing a belt changes your complexion and people will look at your skin without question. There's only one way to kill a tree. You take away its roots. I'm sorry I ripped out your heart and placed it in your mother's tears. I am sorry I tore the world from your eyes and nailed them shut. I'm sorry I pulled the words from your lips and suffocated them with soil. I'm sorry I bound your hands with bandages and bouquets. I'm sorry I broke your bones and filled your carcass with earthworms and dirt. I'm sorry I cut out your soul and wove it into their mournful hymn. I'm sorry I covered your ears so you can't hear them sing. I'm sorry for believing that we had freedom, leading the lost sheep to follow a righteous cause, and living in an age where we wouldn't need to fight these sinful wars. I'm sorry for having dreams about equality, having sustained my country with a great amount of loyalty, but imprisoned for expressing my individuality. How can this be the land of the free when you're still locking me up for my ethnicity? I'm sorry for asserting my views on living in paradise, Though for every coloured man who speaks, another must pay a price. They eliminated Red and King to be precise, while Madiba got lucky with his breathing device. I'm sorry for our sacrifice, educating the future generations so children of colour can prosper in life just like the Caucasians. Not that being Caucasian is bad, but white privilege is something that we never had. So I'm sorry, but not sorry, but the things that I... 
So I'm sorry, but not so I'm sorry, but not sorry for fighting for the outcome. I'm the king to the Martin Luther, and the ex to the Malcolm. I'm the full Nelson in Mandela, the cootie to the fella. Because our people were rich prior to Rihanna in Umbrella. So I'm sorry, but not sorry about the things that I say. Because our death is just another scene in the length of a play. But I promise you this, when I lay in my grave, my coffin will be another slab in the puff that we paid. Many people have OD'd or got shot in the head. I want to be known for what I've jotted in lead. Cobain took his life, he was a slave to the trigger, made a lot of corporate money but lost a lot of his vigour. Diana died driving with Arab blood in her stomach, but to preserve the family line she was killed by her own mother. Biggie and Tupac, Biggie and Tupac got bullets between their eyes cause money in man's hands makes man demonise. Demons in the alleys and street corners we walk through. How many deaths have we actually thought through? I want to wander through the sand to carve art into the rocks. Why would you try and confine an artist to a box? I am the war-torn force inside the army getting shot. I am the cast iron cannon shell left for dead to rot. Mandela delved far too deep into the food chain. Died too soon before welcoming a new day. Who will be remembered forever or for a century? Who will remember me for marking my legacy? I will paint words on the walls of the Vatican. Induce panic, send death threats to Cameron. I'm not trying to be arrogant, I'm just trying to be truthful. Truth does not search this world for approval. I am on the verge of tears, but I can't tip over into the sea. I am bled dry like a withered orchard and its twisted copper leaves. I could have been beautiful. It's probable that I am in some unreachable non-existence, a place desirable, so grand. I'm not the perfect catch, for I can't be spontaneous and adventurous if I can't even move. I am one with this bleached bed by metaphorical translucent tube roots. I, I have no opportunities when I'm as influential as an ant. I stand for the can't in insignificance. Scratch that, I can't stand. <laughs> God is absent in this existence, for his preachers never saved this non-believer. I am not lost, but never found. With the erasure of a body into a black bag, with one name, but no face, and a fading memory that will leave the earth with one simple breath. And I am gone with my last. Lacking love, or livid rage, or a thirst to live again. I am gone with no remains, save for one headstone amongst thousands in hospital records. You deodorized my room with incense, caught globules of blood on your tongue as my lips bled. You want me to talk. With shallow eyes and a concave facial structure, you held time between the tips of your fingers and clicked. Running your mouth, letting your tongue tiptoe across ledges and I cling to your words. You cut yourself and bleed, please tell me it hurts. This is the moment where time is indescribable or indefinite. The needle trips across my arm, it causes harm but feels delicate. I romanticised the act of lying. This apple green dishonesty was the taste of bitter aniseed. A passion died today. A heart bled away and fell precisely four feet beneath ground. I saw your recycled brain in the lost and found. Stop and bow. The sun thirsts for your obedience. Your tin foil fingers left prints in my skin and tinted me devious. Please tell me it hurts. I want to write about the antagonizing pain of rejection, isolation and desolation. I want to write about the way you effortlessly outshine the stars and even more effortlessly outsmart the mess I've become. Gardens grew from my skin when I cradled you in my arms and left scars of a story far too short. How many deaths have the walls of women's inside seen? How many women have watched as their lovers dream? 
Wild nights and crave your attention, merely a teen. Yet you still go on, what could have been? There's been somewhere else, where they didn't lose their greatest treasure, a child that could have wished for their forever. My life, tearing out this seems, a graveyard of faulty dreams. Sat, crawled, walked, taught, recited. You can't see pain through shut eyelids. Pro-life rallies knitted together, however thread looser than ever. And you can't feel it on dead flesh. Your child was not destined to die, but to take his first breath. Sympathy is what you lack. Even up the clothes on my back. My child can't wonder what gentle song will be sung next. But yours could of. Life already living, but you want the one that's due. Sorry his room wasn't painted baby blue. My child can't wonder what treasures lay under the Christmas tree. But yours could of. Maybe you'll realise when you're older, I didn't have the devil on my shoulder. My child can't wonder if their first love would be everything they wished for, but yours could of. I could have been mother of one, and you were left as mother of none, but I did not kill my son. My, but your child could have loved. Loved like a mother kissing her baby goodbye as she would a thousand times over. But to have taken the world by a storm would have made it rain. But my child simply didn't grow to form of being born. I could have been mother of one, and I'm sorry you were left as mother of none, but I, I did not, not kill, kill my son. son. The voices of the slain are inaudible. The voices of the dead are only remembered when their owners were considered valuable. Just because it's 2014, that doesn't mean racism is nowhere to be seen in the subtleties to the empty seats from kids dying in the streets. It doesn't mean discrimination is dead and gone for you, still risk slaughter if you walk the streets and your skin colour's wrong. Being white, binary and straight does not make you the superior race. For if you are religious, you must consider that we are all made in the image of God, despite different faces, different names. If God is everything, then he's everyone. And the person you judge before you met has a piece of that within their heart, their head. And if science is your jam, then you must understand that the only difference between a white man and a black man is the pigment of their flesh. None is born a demon, we are all born fresh. Hands up, don't shoot, but the only person with a gun here is you. The policeman, the protector, the one who claims he is the justice bringer when an unarmed black kid is shot in his death in America. It's also relevant to ask if you've even done your research, because it's a recognised condition to live a gender dysphoric existence, a development in an embryo that just doesn't go and leaves you feeling like you must undergo surgery and change the you that everybody knows. Why is it your business how somebody looks beneath their clothes, whether it's an attractive woman, a transgender stranger, or a black man with a hanging belt that makes him look like he has a gun? It's none of your business, and you probably won't ever know if you have any common sense and leave them to themselves unless they give you consent. Personality is what makes personality, not anatomy, ethnicity, or sexuality. <laughs> 